Buongiorno made it onto the train and I'm joined on this journey with Yurin, my boyfriend, and we're going to be heading to Naples. Today on Logan Lee Adventures. Going 300 kilometers here, our whizzing through the Italian countryside, all the way from Rome to Naples. But yet, it's a little bit more relaxing. Yerun and I foray into southern Italy with Napoli means only one intention to eat, eat, eat all the special food here. So it's no surprising that we hop right into a restaurant as soon as we arrive. Taking cover in this Neapolitan rain that a storm just thundered down on us randomly, even though it was 35 degrees just as we stepped out. And we're at this little Trattoria, and we're gonna get what? Wow. <laughs> I mean, my face is very good. What? My face is very pink. Uh, yeah, he's very pink. Yeah. And we're gonna get the house specialty ragu. So this ragu here is known for being cooked for eight hours. Eight hours slow cooked ragu with beef and pork and classic tomato sauce. We're going to see what it tastes like. To tuck this in because I'm such a slobby eater, and especially since it's ragu. This no fuss bread in a paper bag. Just tear off just to wipe up and use all this yummy red blue sauce. Just saw that guy I'm going through that small little door. Oh, this huge door. <laughs> So cute. Just like that, the summer storm passed and we got to see a glimpse of the city at sunset. Napoli, soaked in this golden light, was like a nymph emerging from slumber, still delicate yet already glistening in her own beauty. Later that evening, we ended up at Antica Pizza Frita di Zia Esterina Sorbilla. Say that five times fast. It's a takeaway hotspot serving up huge, superlative pizza frita, deep fried pizza dough traditionally filled with porcicoli, which are dried lard cubes, bravola, ricotta, and tomatoes. They make everything in the moment. They look like huge canazzoni and they are only 3 euros 50. Type in hot, deep fried Neapolitan pizza. Look at the crowd of this fast food place. I told you we're not kidding around with food down south of Italy. We are here to sink our teeth into everything. And that's when we discover our favorite gelateria that we had ever been to thus far in life. Right after our fried pizza. 
It's been said that Naples is filled of raw, high-octane energy and it's a place of soul-stirring art and panoramas, spontaneous conversations and unexpected, inimitable elegance. Welcome to Italy's most unlikely masterpiece. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Just come here like we did and unfold the city for yourself. I love Napoli already because you don't necessarily have to go into a museum to learn about the culture here. Wandering around, stumbling upon artists and street art, live music, architecture, the life of modernization and history clashes with each other, just comes to you right out in these neighborhood streets. Naples is dotted with interesting and original works of street art between graffiti, murals, stencils and posters made by some of the most important street artists all over the world. In fact, urban art in the city melts ancient and modern, sacred and profane, and addresses those who are the points of reference for a people with thousands of traditions such as religion and sport without drawing political and social commitment. I mean, look at these walls. This gelato, three scoops, it's huge. I've never had anything like it. Look at this. Mm. Lemonade. Coconut. Cookies and cream. So post gelato, we gotta fill up some cars. So we're gonna get some pizza to go and put up in our room. But we're getting pizza from Pizza Attilo, which is came from a heavy recommendation from our host. And so far, it looks freaking fantastic. How we made it. And ta -da! <laughs> And the kind people here. <laughs> Pizza right here has nine different flavors for each single slice. So me and Yuri, of course, are gonna share, but that means we're gonna be biting half of each slice and trying all the flavors, because as you can see, ooh, none, no one slice looks the same, and we like it that way. How could something be so chewy, yet delicate, soft, yet so firm? Just, the dough is everything. And the toppings is so light, it just blends all together so well in this one slice. Oh, the first pizza was just so fun to eat, like so many different flavors and everything. And then now we're gonna dig into this second pizza. And usually with this food, whenever we do take out or come back to our rooms to eat it, we would either be watching a movie or just, you know, be lounging by somewhere, but this we just we're literally just sitting <laughs> and just digging in, and all we're doing is like, mmm, mmm. Because truly, it's like, wow, uh, this is the first pizzeria in Naples. Pizza Antico. Pizza Antico. I'm gonna write it down right now. But it is just so phenomenal that 
I don't know how the other, my hair is going crazy as you can see. I don't know how the other pizzeria is gonna top it or even match it. Oh my god. Mmm. All this, 350. A whole big ass pizza that isn't just quantity, but the best pizza I've ever had in life. Hands down, so far. I'm only saying so far because we're in Naples and I have yet, I don't know yet because we still have other places to hit up, but mm. Okay, okay, okay. Even though we finished our pizzas and we are supposed to just enjoy the rest of the night in, our spirits got pulled out into the bustling Napolitan streets for one last swell, our fairy tale ending. This is literally our third time at the same Tuateria in Naples and it never gets old. Mm. <laughs> Come to see Naples, ended up eating it all instead. We'll actually explore the city next time. How are we still fitting into our clothes? Thank God for my partner in crime. The best way to get to know culture and its people, you guessed it, is to eat, eat, eat. See you next video, hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment below.